Do you still remember the story of her or him when you were in the first awakening of love? Although you are in the same class, you are far apart because the teacher arranges the seats according to the academic results. Later, what kind of wonderful power let you, a study slag, meet such an excellent person? Is this the call of fate or the arrangement of Cupid? No, it was a great action led by the powerful forces behind the scenes. We call this one-to-one -one learning group. In fact, that's what we often say about counterpart support, except that the supporting party and the recipient are neither stupid you nor brilliant her or him. According to the definition, counterpart support refers to a kind of support relationship formed by pairing different regions or industries to support a certain region or industry when formulating macro policies. What the heck? In Chinese, it means pair support. More intuitively, make friends with the poor. Don't understand? Never mind, come here. Today, I will teach you how to understand the counterpart support in five minutes. As the old saying goes, when the way of virtue and justice prevailed, the whole world was one community. Thus, men did not love only their own parents or treat only their own sons as their children. Although the Chinese nation has had the traditional virtue of helping each other since ancient times, the mechanism of counterpart support did not form in a day. Counterpart support took place in the 1950s, when it was embodied in urban support for rural areas and coastal support for the mainland. In 1960, Shanxi Daily published an editorial that first proposed the phrase counterpart support, and in 1979, it was formally determined in the form of national policies through the Central Committee's document number 52. Over the past few decades, counterpart support has risen from a temporary policy to a normalized mechanism. At present, there are two main modes of counterpart support in China. Regular counterpart support includes counterpart support in border areas, counterpart support in major projects, and temporary counterpart support includes counterpart support in areas with severe disaster losses. Kong Fan Sen, have you heard of him for a long time? He is a famous cadre who helped Tibet. China's counterpart support to the border areas has a long history, and the Tibet and Xinjiang aid projects started in the 1980s have played a huge role in the socio-economic development of the border areas. Is the Three Gorges Dam well known for a long time? The Three Gorges Dam project is not only huge, but also a difficult resettlement task. 19 counties and cities in Hubei and Sichuan are involved in project resettlement. Under the unified coordination of the central government, all provinces are required to formulate corresponding support plans. Through various efforts, the project and immigration employment problems have been solved, and the project was completed in 2006. The Wenchuan earthquake was the most destructive earthquake disaster since the founding of New China. The central government has made national efforts to support disaster relief and post-disaster reconstruction. The mechanism of each province supporting one affected county has been established, and the speed and effect of post-disaster recovery and reconstruction have attracted worldwide attention. Many other countries and regions in the world have similar forms of support. For example, Japan has signed mutual support agreements between cities and towns. American states have signed an interstate emergency rescue agreement. Germany carried out interstate emergency drills, etc. But these are often targeted at acute disaster relief tasks with narrow scope of application and strong temporality. China's counterpart support not only pays attention to counterpart, but also emphasizes regularity. Project assistance, financial support, advanced ideas and policy output, as well as cadre and talent exchanges, etc., belong to the scope of routine counterpart support. As the saying goes, you can only save temporary distress, but not long-term poverty. But when we are a whole, the weak and small of either party will become the short plank of the barrel. Helping each other becomes our responsibility and obligation. For example, when your one-on-one -on -one partner asks for your help when encountering learning problems, you can of course coldly refuse, but if everyone does so, your class will not get any honor. Moreover, it is conducive to a more positive competitive environment when everyone is making progress. Isn't it very happy for everyone to get a good result together? For China, common prosperity is the essence and goal of socialism. As a vast multi-ethnic developing country, we need to narrow the economic gap between regions form a pattern of coordinated development of all ethnic groups, and need a mutual assistance model of risk-sharing in the face of disasters. Therefore, the policy of counterpart support should be affirmed and adhered to. We believe that this system will continue to develop and improve in the future reality and application.